Yo, where's the camera? Oh, it's right there. Yo, welcome back. This is M Dog. Uh, we're gonna do a little video here, looking at the houses in RF four. I only have two of them, so uh, I can show you very quickly the Mosquito Lake house. I think I've done this before, so if you want a more thorough look at the Mosquito Lake house, uh, look elsewhere. Just kidding. Not to be rude. There's not a lot to see, honestly. This was the first house they came out with. It was pretty, um, pretty small, right? So let's check it out. And uh, yo, where'd my fish go? Uh oh. Uh oh, this is kind of scary. Uh, maybe I'm not missing anything actually. Maybe I just had four that were like truly keepers. Um, oh crap, what is this? This temp window. Let me see if I can close that. All right, let me look at something real quick. I'm gonna let you look at my house. Actually, let me start the fire so it's a little more pleasant. I'm gonna let you look at my house and my fish just for a second. I'm realizing over here that um, I think that there's some camera issues. So I'm just gonna to try to fix those real quick. It may actually have to do with the shirt that I'm wearing more than anything, but uh, I just wanna look at this very quickly. And you could be saying right now, why not just restart the video? And I would say to you, there's some wisdom in, in what you're asking, but I'm not sure that we're going to do that. All right, let's see what this looks like. I think it's fine. All right, so here's the Mosquito, the Mosquito Lake house. If you've played Russian Fishing 4 but haven't ever paid attention to the houses, it's basically just a place where you can like show off some of your equipment and uh, more importantly, show off some of the fish that you're most proud of. So like this is a, uh, a blue tag Pollock that I had hanging, a uh, really big Cory Char trophy. I don't think this was blue tag, I think it was trophy. Uh, and then trophy blue bream, trophy bream. Gotta have some bream up there just cause you know, I do a lot of bream fishing or have in the past. Um, so anyway, this is the Mosquito Lake house. All right, let's 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 get out of here. We can turn this, fan, this fire off and uh, let's get out. So next I'm gonna take you and look at the Cory house. Although I gotta be honest, I don't have this house unlocked. So we're gonna look at it because I think it'll let me preview it. So we can at least kind of see what it is. And all this is gonna accumulate with us going to Norway where I do have that house and we can just briefly take a tour of that house to see what it looks like just in case you're like really into this game and trying to decide do I want to have any houses other than by the way it's worth mentioning the Mosquito Lake house is free of charge as far as I know everyone has access to their own house at Mosquito Lake this is where they started charging more and more um, by the way, and, and I don't know, they might have to rethink pricing to me. If you buy one of these houses, then you should have free fast travel. Is it that reasonable to that map? Like that should be the benefit. That should be the benefit in my opinion. Um, all right, so let's go in this one. Notice that it's 90% off gold. I have to admit, like, I know that for some of you that might be triggering uh, to see things that are so much cheaper if you buy it with gold because it's on sale with gold. But, you know, you still don't have to do it. And if you do have gold or if you, go, if you wait for a gold sale and then you get the house at 90% off with gold, like, you're just living the life at that point, right? Uh, it's just worthwhile. So anyway, um, here we are. I don't think I can like hang anything up or anything, but we can just kind of see what it looks like. Obviously a definite upgrade from the, uh, from the mosquito house, just in terms of, of how big it is. One thing I don't know, like it won't let me place the item. Like, is there a difference in, Ooh, what do y'all think? Is that? 
maybe not. So you definitely can get way more fish. Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. So it looks like in this house, they have one placement that allows for the largest size fish. At least that's all I'm seeing. So these are considered medium, these bad boys. Uh, so like my Cory Char and Pollock and stuff would fit there. Um, those are medium and then those are small, I believe. I, I don't know. We need to go by taxidermist. I can't remember the terminology they use, but this is for the big boys, right? Like this is like, uh, you know, the largest size fish as far as I know. So they do have that here in the Cory house. Remember, we're just inspecting this one. I actually don't own it, so I can't test by putting things up. Uh, this is where you can put trophies down if you've won any trophies. Holy cow, there's more over here. The amount of fish you can place in this house is so much greater. I don't know what these are. Are these also trophies? I wish I knew this. I wish I knew the answer to this. I guess maybe we'll find out at, uh, at the next stop at Norway, which by the way, let me just make sure I don't have any of our, um, I don't have any trophies placed down in that original house because I need to have it in my inventory if we're going to test it at Norway. So that's Corey. That one's, you know, you saw the price of that one. Um, it's not, it's not, it's not cheap if you're buying it with silver and it's not cheap if you're buying it with gold, except for the fact that it's 90% off right now, which just, it's a pretty sneaky way of, you know, getting people much more interested in purchasing gold, I think. But Hey, I mean, that's how they make money off this game or the main way. And so, I mean, it's hard to like blame anybody for that. Um, I kind of like that they have these big gold sales. All right. So we've got small, medium, large. Floor mount and ceiling mount. Golly, I, I, I really, all right. So for what is, I, I didn't even know some of this was in the game. I'm being perfectly honest. Right. So this is from 6.4 to 12.8 meters, big boy fish. Um, this one's 3.2 to 6.4. And then that largest size, 1.6 to 3.2. And I don't think it matters which one you use. It's all going to be the same size. Uh, just to complete this discussion, medium size is 81 centimeters to 1.6 meters, which is like what my Pollock fit on. And then the small trophy size is uh, up to 80 centimeters, which is what like the bream and the blue bream fit on. So it's pretty cool. Um, all right. What were we? Oh, we were supposed to check the house to make sure there's no trophies there before heading to Norway. Yeah, see, look at this little Christmas. This little Christmas thing. All right, let's go. I think that's everything that I've placed down. Uh, oh, there you go. They do have these. Oh, these are for, oh, that's cool. Okay. See, I didn't even know this. I didn't even know this. I don't know if that's been in the, in the houses since they launched or if that's something that's gotten added uh, after I wasn't paying attention. And that's the other thing that, you know, for some people, these, these houses are maybe pretty cool. Like just to be like, okay, I've got my house set up. I've got the fish, the trophies or whatever I want in there. Um, but for, Hey, there's the house right there, by the way, for, um, for me, I just don't, I don't think about it. I don't spend any time there. So I don't know. All right. So here's the house. It looks like there's an option to make it the one that gets shown on your uh, public profile somewhere. I have, um, yeah, here it is. Here it is. So I'm going to, I'm going to sh show you this real quick. And I'll probably end up using this as the thumbnail for this video. Um, but here's kind of a, a copy of it. I'm just showing you what the price is right now uh, on the um, on the Norwegian uh, house. So it's 44,000 silver, which I, I mean, I can hear some of you are just like, what in the world? That is way too expensive. I mean, if it's not for you, it's not for you. That's just kind of what they've priced it at. But just like the the uh, the quarry map, right? This one is on sale, seventy five percent off. So instead of one hundred and eighty nine gold, it's forty seven gold. So I don't know. You know, like it, don't like it. 
that's what it cost. So I can show this on my public profile. So this one is now my public profile one. I can go in here and I can already tell that, don't worry, nothing to see here. I'm not messing with this again because that would be just really crazy. Um, okay, here's the Norway house. So we have a candle. That is a very small candle in what is a pretty big holder. We have the Norge, uh, which looks like a, a skiing expedition or something. We do have, all right, so that's that light over there in the corner. Oh, wait. And then this is the overhead light in the whole place. Um, I guess we'll put lights on for now. Okay, so here, is there something we're able to do with this? Or, or is that coming in the future? Because, I mean, what? That's gotta be for something, right? Can somebody explain this to me? That can't just be decorative, can it? It's like where you would hang, oh gosh, I'm not even sure. I'm actually not even sure. All right, so we can start the fire, which is nice. Nice touch there. Um, you can turn the TV on. Uh, you can switch the channel. This is like some kind of like fake beer commercial, I think. Uh, it comes with its own uh, that's one of the uh, trailers. That's the trailer for the Norwegian. I, I think this is amazing. Like, I don't know if it does this, but it should just rotate all of the different maps trailers, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, they do have multiple channels you can switch to, which is pretty cool. Like, you know, that they've gone to all that. Music should come, in, come on. It, it takes a minute for the music to come on, so... It'll scare us in just a second, but I just wanted to point out that they do have music channels. And remember, there's some group that's associated with RF4, maybe part of the dev team or whatever, that kind of makes their own music. This thing's shiny over here. All right, here it goes. So, and you can uh, you can change the track or whatever. I, I don't know, change the album. You can like sit down on stuff in here. Let's get back up. As soon as the music comes back on, I'll turn it off. All right, so it, I don't see anything in here. Okay, be careful what you ask for. I don't see anything in here that is, um... oh, that's item placement mode. Oh my. Okay, I haven't looked at this yet, so sorry, sorry for being a little bit blown away here. Um, okay, so now we've got item and placement mode on, so now I can put reels. I, I mean, I figured this is what it was for. I just didn't want to say anything. So we could, like, throw our Pollock up there, right? Not a bad spot for the Pollock. Um, and I do love that we can just, like, throw out, throw out reels. So it looks like the reel has to be currently not attached to a rod to put it on the board. That's what it's looking like to me. But look at all these rods we can just throw in there. Um, the only reason why I say that is because this is just not all of my reels, right? Um, yeah, these look like the reels that are not attached. So you can put rods in here. And obviously once you you know, turn the placement back on. It's just all you've got is your rod there. Uh, let's 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 throw the reel in there as well, just so you can kind of see it. Um, it it actually looks pretty good once you take the uh, placement mode off. You can see what it is. Like if somebody comes to the house, they can look at it and see what it is. They can look at the rod and see what that is. Um, I guess some of the rod is getting covered up there in the holder. That rod, it's the, uh, I think it's the fault of the rod that that's a little bit 
Um, that one's a little bit like, yeah, I mean, yeah, that was sort of an issue with that rod that you wouldn't have with most and that the bottom of it, you couldn't see very good. All right. So it looks like on this coffee table here, we can put some of the, um, I, I mean, I get, are, are these considered trophies? I guess, uh, here's some more trophy spots. Here's more trophy spots. And now we've placed all of our trophies. Now, what are these awards? I don't have any awards. So, you know, that's embarrassing. I'm out of those awards. Uh, I do have the honorary fisherman mosquito lake. So if you really are like into your house, does this finally motivate you? I should speak for myself to uh, try to finish more of those challenges, get more awards, that kind of thing. Because that's part of the problem for me, at least, is there's just no motivation, none at all for me, or very little, I should say, very little. Okay, so now we get into the fish. Um, you can sit down and be playing Rushing Fishing 4, I suppose. Uh, okay, so we've got two floor mounts. Oh, there's the ceiling. Look how, I mean, imagine how good this room would look. Like, I almost feel like the next time I catch, I wonder what size this has to be. I, I mean, I just can't remember. I know we just said it at the taxidermist, but the next time I catch a fish that's just like unusually large at Norway, it's going to be really tempting, isn't it? Just to throw it up in there. I mean, even these bad boys are huge. Um, okay. So you've got two floor, one ceiling. These are your, uh, these are your Pollock size. Um, you know, so I could have Corey, Corey Char and Pollock right here. Uh, these are your, uh, the smaller ones. So, you know, this is where the bream could go. Now that is the large. Um, so wait, is that right? Yeah, that's the large. So, you know, there might be, what do you think? A sturgeon? Would sturgeon fit there? Or is a sturgeon a little too long? Um, depends on, I guess, maybe the size of it, but perhaps, uh, perhaps sturgeon, catfish, that kind of thing could go up in those on the large size ones. Uh, those, that size, as I think I mentioned, is not available in, um, in mosquito, not till the Cory house came out, did they allow us to, um, to put that size in there. All right. So we've got all of those sizes. Then we come over here to this. We've got even more, even more, um, a variety of sizes, uh, which is cool. Not that many small ones in the house, I guess. Oh, I didn't even notice that there was, or if I did, I just forgot already. There's, there's even a placement up here above the reels. That's cool. I, oh, I did remember that because I think I threw my Pollock up there. There's not any other secret spots on this side of the room. So it's almost like if it fits in that, like, so like the Pollock for me, the Pollock is one of my favorite fish in the game. So like that would be a good fish potentially to put there as like the only fish in this room, maybe. Um, I kind of like that. But if you're really into small fish, you've only got what? One, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wait, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's 10. It's more than I thought. So, so never mind. I, I think it's actually fine. Um, but as you can see, like it looks really good. I mean, it's hard to tell when you've got the green everywhere because of the, of the item placement mode. But once you take that off, I think it looks really good. The one thing I would probably want to do is settle on a settle on a design for the board um and you kind of see what both the light and the dark look like in here i think i actually like i would probably like a medium to light personally and i don't know if it's because of the color of this wood or if it's just my pre preference regardless 
We also have a few pictures of fish here, but I don't think it tells you anything other than just like the picture. Um, some cool stuff placed everywhere else. Were there any other placements over here besides the fish? The fish are so overwhelming, but I don't see anything else. No trophies, no awards, nothing else over here. It's just fish on this side of the room, which, which, or this side of the, the, the house, which, you know, let's be honest, that's, it's probably how it should be. Um, and, and by the way, like I didn't, <laughs> uh, it's embarrassing, isn't it? When, uh, when it first came out that you could mount fish, uh, I think it was America Jake, maybe some of his buddies thought it'd be funny to send me a couple of like lame fish mounted. You know, I don't really think a 2.8 wild carp is worth keeping, but in this case, because I haven't actually mounted that many fish other than like, I really love this Pollock. Uh, and the Cory Char for a while there, you know, it was, it was pretty, pretty special to have that Cory Char, but, um, it is interesting. There's so many fish here at Norway. If you if you spend a lot of time playing the game and, and you start mounting trophies and such, um, you could almost, you might be able to fit fill up this house with just saltwater fish, especially as new maps come out, if there's additional saltwater maps. So I could kind of see having this one be anything saltwater um, and perhaps the quarry house, if you just really wanted to go extravagant being anything freshwater. So, cause you've got what one large, the only thing where you could get into a, a little bit of a, you know, weird situation is like, let's say you end up really loving a sturgeon that you catch and a cat, an albino catfish, let's say, you know, whatever. I think there's only room for one of those in Cory House, if I remember correctly. So you could get to a point where you're like, I just really have to put another, you know, uh, at least because of the size of it, another fish in this map. But for the most part, I could see if you really play a lot, I could see something like that being, being interesting. Um, so uh, I kind of wish that, let's turn these lights off. I kind of wish that this was a different candle, a little bigger. Uh, and I, I kind of wish it was hanging too, to be honest. Like I, it just looks awkward there sitting there like that. Um, you know, move that picture, put a little hanging thing here and just hang it right there by the door. Um, I don't know something. Can you sit in this chair though? That's another thing I miss about the other house. Like you can see the fire over there from the couch, but I think it'd be nice to actually have something right, you know, right here. This chair, if it was sitable, would be fine. Or maybe if there was a chair over here instead of there, I don't know. But to be able to actually see the fire, that, that'd be cool. But not a big deal at all. In fact, quite a small deal. So this is a Norwegian house. I just wanted to, I know this has been a long video um, of really just no fishing and just talking about the house, but I did want to show the house off a little bit because, um, some of you may be wondering, what does it look like? Is it worth it? Because it is so expensive. And so in case you haven't already had the chance to look at it, I thought maybe this would be helpful for someone. Uh, I hope it is. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Um, I will see you again, see you again soon. But um, tight lines, everybody. Let me know if, um, what would I like to know from you guys? Am I missing anything about the houses? Have I misspoke about, you know, any of the things that are available that you can do with the houses? What do you think about my idea of somehow allowing fast travel to a map to be free if you own the house there? It, that's only relevant here at Norway and at Cory because Mosquito's already free. Um, do you have multiple houses? If so, are you intentional about like putting different things? Those are the kind of questions I have. Till next time.